these steps will show you how to create your first Google Classroom. First, go to the top of the screen, not the Google search box, and type classroom, C-L-A-S-S-R-O-O-M dot Google dot com. When you do, it's going to ask for your account name, and I'm going to add my account and Mrs. Oro at R-C-A-N-S-C-H-O-O-L-S dot org is going to be my teacher username. I'll click Next, and this is the very first time I'm using my account, so I'm going to type the password I was given. When I sign in, I'm going to have to accept the terms of service and create a password that I'd like to use. and I'll go change my password. I'm not going to add a phone to recover this. I'll just click Done. My Google account administrator can assist me with that. And now I'm ready to sign in. I'm going to get started using this as a teacher. If you chose student by mistake, you'll need your administer to assist you with creating um, to change your account from a student account to a teacher account. I'm ready to begin my first class, so I'm going to go to the upper right corner and click this plus sign, and I'm going to create a class. You could also join a class if you wanted to have a book study that you were in with other teachers, but we're going to create a class. And I'm going to be asked for my class name. I'm going to be pretending to teach geometry and this is going to be section 01 and I'm ready to create. This is the outline of the Google Classroom but now we'd like to have a more personalized look. It bases the picture here on the name of your class so this is what they chose for geometry. I can go to the right hand side here to select theme and they have a series of different themes that I could choose for my geometry class. And if I'm interested in the gallery pictures, I could use these. If I would just prefer a pattern, there's a number of patterns that I could use. And I think I'm going to choose this pattern here. I'll select that as my class theme. If you have a picture that you would prefer to use, you could instead click Upload Photo, and you can either drag a photo on this part of the screen or select it from your computer. You'll notice as you begin posting things that you just have this little blue head here for yourself as the teacher. In order to personalize that, you're going to move to the upper right corner Click your email address, and then underneath the initial M for Mrs. Oro, I'll click Change. And I can either select a photo from the computer, or if I have a camera attached, I could go to Webcam and tell the computer to allow and allow the use of the camera. And here I am and just kind of orientate myself. Take a snapshot, and if I don't like it, I can take a snapshot again. Use this as my profile photo. It's gonna upload it. And I can click and refresh my screen. And now I have a personal picture associated with my account.